What's up with this? Your boy Lagua. I'm from do a Perso Sweet with Hot Dots TV. Smoke a Perso Sweet with Hot Dots TV. I know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Dots TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a Perso Sweet with Hot Dots TV. What's going down with you? I'm so with it, gang. Oh, nah, shit, man. So, shit, for the people that don't know, like, who are we here with right now? Where you from? Guac, Guac, Bo. Guac for short, Le Guac. Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas, north side. Uh, you said, you know, north side, you know, Houston, a big ass city, so a little bit more, like, in specific of where in the north side you from? I'm from the north side. I just stay everywhere on the north side. I'm from like it's long ago, but I just stay everywhere. Okay. And for those that don't know, what is Acres home? And like, you know, speak a little bit more about how it played a role in your life, like just being from that community. Acres home. Acres home, just Acres home. Acres home cool though. Like, I really grew up around older niggas. Like, I was young, young as hell. When I was young, thugging around like my older brother, he 30. My older, my other older brother, he was like 34. He got killed and shit like that. He was like 34. He got killed and shit like that. But I was young, thing with them. Like them niggas couldn't come out the eyes unless they had me with them. Like from when I was in Pampers and shit like that. So everybody, I kind of grew around with older than me. Like you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so like, was the music was that already around you young, or or what kind of led you over to start making music? Um, really like. I always just been like a little player, little nigga, I always around, like, you know what I'm saying? I always on the scene. And I always was just a fly little kid, like, badass little nigga, shit like that. Everybody be like, you got the image, you need to go out here and try to rap. You need to go on rap. You, you were around all the rappers and shit already. But I just ain't never take it serious till like last year. Then started rapping. Yeah, just talking like being around like rappers, like, it's, it's no surprise, like, within the city, for sure, probably the number one buzzing younger artists coming up and you are you you've been with everybody you know what i'm saying that's making noise with the city so how have some of them connections come about was it just organic or was it before the music um a lot of them be before the music but every everything organic like you know i ain't really the type of nigga to reach out like ain't nothing wrong with it i ain't saying don't reach out it's good to reach out to niggas and try to fuck with niggas you should be trying to fuck with niggas marketing and like at the best, your best bet. The only way you gonna go up, nigga, be stuck in that way. It's stubborn, don't wanna fuck with niggas. You gotta fuck with niggas. But like everything with me be so like super organic, and and and, and just like I build our relationships. Like might be from the street, might be from hustling, might be from dips, like different type of shit that just bring us together. And we just might so happen to be rappers. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Just to get a little more deeper into that one, you know, one of the ones that. Uh, we've seen you the most, I say recently, especially is Lil Jeremy, and I feel like he, you know, is playing a big role in the city in terms of like telling his story and showing everybody else that there's a way. So like, how did that relationship come about, and how has it changed until now? Because both of y'all have elevated, you know, since that, since the beginning of that. Me and Jeremy really been around each other, like fucking with the same people and stuff like that. And I fuck with some of his folks, he fuck with some of my people, but um. Really like me and Jeremy, we just so close together because we just so similar. Like we just, we just vibe so good. Like it ain't no, no big bro, little bro, none of that shit. Like we just brothers. Like that nigga, like my mama had him, man. He done put me on a lot of game. We do a lot of shit together. You know, them put me on a lot of shit. Like he ain't the type of nigga that's gonna hate and and, 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 and try to hold a nigga back. Like you see what I'm saying? He gonna throw a nigga out there because you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a prosper and shit like that. And he a good nigga, like good hearted nigga. We good, we both good nigga, like you see what I'm saying? So that's why we vibe so good, like you know his whole family, you know my whole family, like shit like that. We really, really like them, like really, really fuck with each other. Sure, it ain't just being like a. It ain't even on no rap shit. We don't even be on rap shit together, like yeah. we fuck around, go to the studio together, won't even record a song together. We just vibe so good, like just we brothers. You see what I'm saying? The music just be like a bonus type of shit. I don't even be. I got a bad habit, like, I don't got no ego. Like, a lot of rappers got egos, and, and their ego be their downfall sometimes, sometimes not, but a lot of rappers got egos. And I really don't got no ego, so when I'm around my family, 
I'm more a family man, like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, sometimes when I'm around Jeremy, we so close, like, family. Like, I don't even be on the rap. Like, I don't be, I don't be having it in me to rap. You see what I'm saying?